Hey everybody, I've got some exciting news to tell everybody. It's actually exciting for some, important for others. So we have actually a report on four of the counties that I did for the last 14 days of escrows that have sold. And for the first time in months, I have seen two counties report below asking price on percentages of close. What I mean is they've actually sold for less than they, what they originally listed for. So we haven't seen this in months. So let me get right down to it. So be sure to click and subscribe um, and follow me for future updates as well. Don't forget to do that. Hit the like button for me if you don't mind, but uh, if not, I'll keep these updates coming as best I can as well. So if you need more information on your local area, please be sure to reach out to me or reach out to somebody that you know that's a realtor. So for Monterey County, let's go ahead and get right, right into that. The, this is the first county, one of the first two counties that has dropped to 99% of asking price. What that means is, on average, in the last 14 days, sellers in this county received 99% or 1% below their asking price. That means what we're seeing is some, some reductions in price and or people selling for less than what they were asking for. So that's real important. That was based on 114 homes that have sold in all of Monterey County in the last two weeks. And the average days on market was about 17 days. So real important to keep that in mind if you've got a home in Monterey County that you're thinking of selling, or even if you're thinking of buying, maybe you need to, don't need to go as aggressive on offers in some areas. So be sure to contact me if you're thinking of something in a particular area. Famous San Luis Obispo County, we have seen, uh, ironically, it was 114 homes also sold in San Luis Obispo County. Now this covers all homes, um, condos, homes, single family, I just ran everything. I was just real general because of course you want to be specific when you're hunting in a certain neighborhood. But San Luis Obispo, for example, also received 99% of asking price and it too is 17 days averaging on the market. So the two counties, surprisingly, that we saw go above that maintained their threshold was actually Santa Cruz County. So no surprise there, Silicon Valley is still going strong but this does indicate something that it's it's coming, right? So we're seeing it first in Monterey County, San Luis Obispo County. I was a little surprised by San Luis Obispo County, actually, so I'm gonna go back and double check those numbers and report back next week on that. But get this, Santa Cruz County had 109% of asking. That's actually higher than it was last month. So their 104 homes that sold averaged 12 days on the market. So one of the best days on market that we've seen in all four counties the last county I checked was San Benito County. They received 101% of asking price. Now San Benito is unique because it's a little lower volume, much smaller county, smaller population, but still impacted by Silicon Valley, I feel. And that's why we're seeing some pressure still on pricing there and why most sellers are still getting their asking price in San Benito County. So keep that in mind if you're looking at San Benito County. And there, 30 homes that sold, they averaged 22 days on the market. So that gives you an idea for San Benito County, Santa Cruz County, we're still looking at pretty much strong offers in that area or pretty close to asking price, right? At 101% for San Benito, 109% for Santa Cruz County. And again, San Luis Obispo and Monterey counties both coming in at 99% of asking. So most sellers taking on average about 1% below their asking price. So again, that's an average. One more time, be sure to reach out to me if you're looking in a specific area or you're thinking of selling or downsizing, upsizing in a certain area, and we can analyze your specific area as well. So hopefully that's informative. Again, be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to DM me, reach out to me if you have any other questions. Thanks again. Have a great weekend.